Phoenix Splash TV. So, wow. Uh, somehow, in some way, shape, or form, this YouTube channel has made it to four digits. 1,000 subscribers. Having a YouTube channel and making videos was always a little bit of a dream of mine. And it was just something that we, as a band, just always wanted to do. Just having a platform where we can share our opinions and share our music is just something we always strive for. So whether you subscribe for the music or for the video games, consider this video a big thank you. And I think for this 1k subscriber special, I'm going to go back in time and talk about the 5 videos that I enjoyed making the most. The Shenmue Toy Analysis. This was the very first video that I made about a game that I wouldn't stop talking about, Shenmue. And this might have probably been the most important video that I made. The first few game analyzers I made did not do well at all, and even today they still have low views. So I thought I would do a video on my favorite game of all time and then just pretty much stop making videos. But then this Shenmue video got pretty popular. I shared it in the Shenmue group that I had been part of years before, and they actually enjoyed it. It was shared around and accumulated quite a few views. This video encouraged me to make more videos based off my favorite game, and I had a ton of things to say about it that I never heard anyone talk about before. Now I haven't really made a video on Shenmue for a while, and there is a reason for that. But um, I do want to talk about Shenmue again in some way, shape, or form in the future. Shinya Musician Spotlight. The very first Musician Spotlight that I did was on Shinya from Duran Grey. Now I had talked about other musicians before, but the video series never really had a title. This was when I was really ready to share my knowledge about music. I had tried this years ago with something called The Rock Show, and yeah, you might notice that my voice sounded somewhat different back then. But yeah, the Shinya video marked where I finally got the gears going and really decided to share my musical thoughts. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to implement clips without getting copyright notices back then, but I think it's still a fun video to watch. Number 3, every video that has Chris in it. Chris the Pocket Master. Every video we make together is always fun and I really like getting him involved with the channel and the videos. It's cool to see him make videos on his own with a more calm approach. Before I was even making videos for this channel, he was in charge of it. He was the creator of this channel back then and he pretty much just used it to showcase his base skills and interact with other YouTube channels. When we started the band, we decided to use his channel primarily because it had more subscribers than ours. If you want to laugh, then you should watch our top 10 Genesis games of all time we did a while back. More recently, we did a top 10 Game Boy games where we pretty much end up arguing, probably because we were both really tired and just stressed out from working and releasing our full length album. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that he was on the Taji Musician Spotlight, because that is his favorite bass player. And long ago, he actually made a tribute video for Taji. Number 4, every video that Anthony was involved with. Anthony is the drummer for the Phoenix Splash Band, and I've been working on projects with this guy for a very long time, and he is a damn good drummer. For this slot, I'm going to include all of those music videos that we did for our first album, After the Atomics. Honestly, those videos were very extremely difficult to edit, and I'm actually glad that they're all done with. But at the end of the day, it's just really cool to see how they all turned out. Out. Anthony was also in the Shaq Fu tournament, which was his idea, and he was also one of the judges in the Hide vs. Kurt Cobain video that sparked minor controversy. Number 5, The Rest in Peace Hayabusa. If I had to pick a favorite video of mine, it would definitely be the one that I did on Hayabusa, who is the creator of the wrestling move Phoenix Splash. When he died in 2016, every video that would highlight his career only focused on his neck injury that paralyzed him, without even talking about 
who the guy was. It made me kind of mad, and in return I made a personal video explaining his influence to the wrestling world and to me. And as a result, it turned out to be one of the most emotional videos that I had ever made. And it was actually kind of cool to talk about wrestling. Now I love wrestling, but I feel like I don't follow it enough to be an expert on it and to make videos about it. But I do still watch some wrestling. Throughout my time on YouTube, I actually made some friends with other YouTubers and just viewers that I talked to from time to time. People like uh, Sega CD Universe, Oso oh Jiggly, and pretty much all the people that comment on the musician spotlights. And you know, that's another thing. If any of y'all want to message me or friend me on Facebook or whatever, I'm always willing to talk with any of y'all. Whether it be about music or video games, you know, my, my door is always open. And I think it's just really cool that I find out different things the more I research anything about any video. Like that mobile game about X Japan where you're running around with Yoshiki. And after I made a video about that game, the creator actually reached out to me and pretty much became my friend. And I think that was, that was pretty darn cool. So what does the future hold for this channel? Honestly, as far as I go, I'll probably keep doing my thing. I'll probably experiment with some new video ideas. One idea I have is talking about the music of video games, which is something I always wanted to do. And I feel like that will bridge the gap within this channel, actually. I even have a third strike video I wrote about a year ago that's all typed up. Uh, some future musician videos include Loudness, Miyavi, and a first impression on FT Island. That's right, I am not giving up on Korea. And of course there will be new music videos of songs from our May Day album, which I have no idea when they'll come out, but it'll be much later. So yeah, I was actually uh, having a hard time coming up with what to do for this special video. I was actually thinking about doing a Q&A or something, which is still possible. If you're interested in that, go ahead and leave that in the comments. I just thought I'd take a chance and just kind of reflect on the YouTube channel and talk about what's going to come up in the future. And I think I want to leave it at that. I'd just like to thank everyone who subscribed and anyone who has taken even a slight interest in what I and the rest of the band does. It's been an awesome ride and I've met some awesome people. And anyways guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching. This is Josh the Music Man, signing off.